Ahead here. And Reading under the former Arsenal player, Brian McDermott, hoping to end a horrible sequence against Arsenal. This is their tenth meeting with them, and they have lost all of the previous nine. Wide by Coquelin, and here's Gnabry's first touch. Here's Nicky Shorey. Hunt. Robson can do Roberts! Terrific start for Reading! And it's the old war horse himself, Jason Roberts! Well, if you're a young striker and you want to know how to lose a defender, lose your marker to get on the end of a cross, take a look at this, because at 33 years old, he uses all his nows, Jason Roberts, and he gets his reward. As Jay Tab is it does really well there, feeds the ball out wide. But watch Roberts, faints like he's going to go near, goes in behind Koscielny, and he's left in front of goal. It's a wonderful cross, but it's wonderful movement that gets Jason Roberts his opportunity, and he is not going to miss from there. It's an emphatic finish, and Reading have got the lead that Brian McDermott well, he would have been craving against his old club. Didn't he enjoy it? The first time that Brian McDermott has faced his old club, the third time that Jason Roberts has scored against Arsenal. So it's left for Chris Gunter to take. Here he's worked it through well, Gunter tries to line it up, and it's gone in, it's an own goal! It's gone in off Lauren Koscielny! And Arsenal's despair compounded, but joy here for Reading, who lead them 2-0! Well, just like the first goal, they get in down the sides, they get in behind Arsenal, and they get into an area where they can put a real dangerous cross into the box. It's good, it's tight there, isn't it? But McCleary does well, Gunter finds space, and Koscielny, well, He's beyond the near post. He has to try and intercept it. And the only kind of contact that he can get that will send that ball in the net, he somehow manages to get. And that's really unfortunate for Damian Martinez in the goal, but I'm sure Brian McDermott doesn't care. Gorks climbing with a header. They still have managed to get it clear. Here's Ledger Wood. And he looks for another striker goal, and he's got it in! This is unreal. Three up inside 20 minutes. Mikel Ledger Wood scores for the second game in a row. Martinez finding his shot too hot to handle. And despair for Arsene Wenger, whose team are being ripped to shreds. Well, they are. This is an absolute disaster for the young goalkeeper comes from a corner and it very much looks as if they've got that clear but uh, it's sloppy Shamak that gives the ball away Legit Wood does really really well here but that should not be fine in the back of the net you can see by the angle that the ball goes in Martinez gets it all wrong he's trying to palm it away to his left and somehow the ball squirms into his right and this is not something that he will want to see in the future, it's a horrible mistake from the young goalkeeper. Well, that's the risk you take when you change your team as now to Morrison. Here's Mikel Ledgerwood, urged to shoot again, and after what happened last time, might have been tempted, but instead finds McCleary. Hunt! In off the post! He's with the fourth official, he just feels like it should have been a foul given Arsenal's way in the lead-up to that goal. Shamak was the player in the middle of all that. Lost the previous challenge, but that there. Maybe a little bit of a nudge in the back on Shamak, not given. And look what happens. Again, Reading worked the ball wide, and this is where they've been absolutely lethal. Noel Hunt, a player that I'm sure Arsenal don't probably know too much about, but if they do their homework, what they will know about Noel Hunt is just how very, very good in the air he is. One of the best headers of a ball 
that I've seen for a few years, and that is a wonderful header. An absolute wonderful header, but Arsene Wenger maybe has a case. Well, the fourth goal means that some Arsenal fans, we assume, have seen enough and are heading for home already. Here's Walcott. Little did he know. Here's Arshavin. And now the chance for Walcott to make an impact for Arsenal. And at last, something goes right for them, right near the end of the half. Could that be the start of an improbable comeback? It needs to be the spark, doesn't it? It really does. And this is what you want to see more of from Theo Walcott. Gets himself in between defenders, onside, and once he's away, they're not going to catch him. And this is what I think he doesn't maybe get the credit he deserves for sometimes in front of the goal. Stays calm, and it's a really cool, calculated finish. Dinks it over, Federici. Tiny, tiny glimmer of hope. Well, it may be the eve of Halloween, but this is challenged by Jenkinson. Or Shavin. Shamak trying to slide it across. Wins the corner. I'm trying to play it early, but he had one target in the penalty area. No question, Arsenal have improved in the last ten minutes or so. Walcott's corner, Giroud's header! And talk about an instant impact! Arsenal really are motoring now. Wow, this is a fantastic header. I mean, the, the, the corner is hit with such pace. Curling away from Giroud, but the way he redirects that pace, absolutely wonderful. Federici can't get across far enough to get enough on it to keep it out. That is a wonderful header. We've got a game on our hands here. Look for a long, long time as if we hadn't. Away from recording their first ever victory over Arsenal at the 10th attempt. scored against Arsenal, now scores for them, and Arsenal are three quarters of the way to a famous comeback. Well, again, Brian McDermott won't be happy with the defending. Kaspers Gorks, it is, challenges, runs under the ball, that leaves Koscielny with a free header, not going to miss from there. And I just wonder, I wonder, I think the all-important thing now is what is that board that's going to be held up any second by the fourth official going to say. Just assault on the Reading goal. Coquelin gets the ball in towards Marouane, Shamak headed down, Walcott with a chance! And is it over? Yeah, that's over. It is now! It's been turned in in the end by Jenkinson to make absolutely sure. And Arsenal have done it! From 4-0 down, they've drawn a level right at the death. Well, when I looked at the assistant referee, I'm sure I saw daylight between the first effort he did not raise his flag. I was astounded. It doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter now. But long hopeful ball, knocked down. Walcott, that's well over. The assistant referee, unobstructed view, has got to see that. It doesn't matter now, but it could have mattered. That is the big thing. I mean, you've got to see that from where you're standing. Jenkinson follows up. There's a handball in there to boot. Reading don't like it because they feel 90, nearly 96 minutes been played. Time should have been up. Miguel. Shamak just dragging it through for Olivier Giroud. Here's Arshavin. Marouane Shamak goes for goal and does it! Arsenal, who were 4-0 down, lead for the first time. And it's the forgotten man, Marouane Shamak. Looking down at Brian McDermott, poor Brian McDermott. Just pacing around his technical area. Cannot believe what he's seen. Lovely build up play. Shamak it was that flicked that ball to Giroud and carried on. Oh, Shamin gets it back to Shamak. And how often do you see it? 
when a shot goes through a defender's legs. Goalkeeper unsighted, late reacting. It's in the corner. And Shamak has given his team the lead. And it has this been one of the most remarkable comebacks of all time because it's been a sensational game. Doesn't he just love it? Well, it's the first time really Arsene Wenger's had a smile tonight. Here is Robson Cano. Makanov was in there waiting, but it's gone all the way across to Gunter. And the hit is in from Pogrebniak. Absolutely astonishing. Well, Arsenal arms are in the air. They want offside. They really want offside. They're not going to get it. Morassi were deep cross. Arsenal just let it go all the way to the back post. And as that is struck, well, maybe level. And of course, all that the assistant referee can see is Lauren Koscielny's red shirt. You can't see the two blue shirts behind him. And Pogrebniak following in. It's the simplest of headers. And it's game on again. How many more? Shifts and changes are we going to see? Quite remarkable. Well, Reading, we're heading for the exit door from the Capital One Cup. Oh, he's gone as well, because he only looked charging forward. And it's Arshavin, there'll be two minutes of stoppage time. Man in the box if he can get it across, and he has it off the line. Shots and follow up, and it's turned in. And surely this time, Theo Walcott has won it. 11 goals on a Stadium and Arsenal having seemingly been down and out once, then packed back again by Reading, have surely hit now for the last time. Well, this is about desire, it's about drive, it's about determination, and Lauren Koscielny is the player who starts this off. He's in the middle of your picture there, the centre half. He's busting the gut, as have three, four other Arsenal players to break there, break quickly, and they are punished. And didn't we say our Shavin may have the last laugh? I think he has. It may have been a goal for Walcott, but Andre Arshavin has torn Reading to pieces for just the one time that was necessary. And Walcott, I think he's just scored the winning goal. What an amazing, amazing game. And even Arsene Wenger, well, he must be stunned by what he's seen here tonight. He must be. Well, Arsene Wenger won't take too much pleasure from the defending, but he will from the spirit his team have shown in adversity. The header, can't find a teammate, cleared by Walcott. And a missed header gives Shamak a chance to seal it once and for all for Arsenal here. And he has! So ends one of the most remarkable nights in League Cup history as Arsenal claim a seventh. Arsene Wenger heads for the quarter-finals of this competition and he will wonder, and many others will wonder, how they've got there. Well, pure and simply, absolute and utter drive, determination, character. It is a shame that such a game needed to be clinched on a mistake, a defensive mistake, but Shamak really punishes Chris Gunter. That's a calm, calculated finish. And what started out as a dream in heaven has turned into a nightmare. You have to feel for Brian McDermott.